So once you understand where the true values are, then you use goals not just to reach the goal, but you use goals as an enticement to become a better person. Now you're zeroing in on the true enterprise of life. You want to reap the harvest, not just for the harvest and what you can cash it in and what it'll bring to you, but for the person you become to acquire this harvest, for the patience it takes, for the brains it takes, for the discipline it takes, for the organizational ability it takes, employing other people, offering opportunity. See, to get a good harvest come fall, you've got to be quite an enterprising person. So it isn't the harvest then that's the most value. The most value is the skill and the person, the personality, the discipline, all the things you learned and became to acquire it now becomes primary value. That's why when you really understand the acquisition of wealth, then you don't worry now anymore about your money. Who's going to steal it? And where is it going to go? And who's going to get their hands on it when I'm gone? And all that. You just don't worry about that anymore. Because you've already gotten the greatest value out of your wealth. If you, if you earned the wealth and you made the wealth, because the greatest value is the person you became to acquire it. Now, if you will begin to apply that philosophical position on all your future projects, you cannot believe the happiness and the uniqueness and the joy that comes with it. You just can't believe. Now, see, it's much easier to get up in the morning because you're going now for the greater value of the person you're going to become to acquire what you wish. Now you're eager to go for it. See, growing is one of those incredible chances and challenges in life. And now it makes the day much more exciting and much more interesting. Because we all kind of know that just things are not where the true values are. So if we pursue things, sure enough, we're going to wind up disappointed. But if we let things entice us to become better persons, to acquire them, now we understand where the true value is. Now, what you'll find happening is we're getting all these stories about people who come back and say, you know, things that I put on my three-year, five-year list, I got them the first year. <laughs> One doctor and his wife came back to the ranch, I guess, two or three times, Ron. One year, they drove their new Rolls and their new Bentley. <laughs> and said, we just wanted to show you all some of the stuff we've checked off our list. <laughs> That's neat. They flew over to Europe to get a his and hers. A Rolls and a Bentley. Unbelievable. They wanted to double their practice in three years. They doubled it in about 10 months. Unbelievable. And we, we keep getting this little called progress report, right? About every six months, we get this updated progress report that says, let us tell you what's happening to us now, right? Once they got started on this, they just zeroed right in and they couldn't believe all these incredible things that start happening. See, what you do is, if you work on some of these things properly, you let the good surprises of life start stacking in your favor. You know, the good things happen to the people that are out there becoming enterprising and growing and changing. You know, some people call it luck. But see, luck is merely taking advantage of opportunity, operating in the marketplace where the good things happen with frequency. See, now, if you're not out there, it's just not going to happen. You know, luck does not come by and seek you out. Usually, you know, what we call luck falls upon those people that are out there operating in the marketplace, that are out there doing it. You say to the salesperson, oh, you got a lucky sale. No, that was just the 20th sale. They worked on the other 19, and then here comes one out of the sky. But unless you're out there, they won't fall on you hiding in a cave. <laughs> When they come from the sky, make sure you're out there in the field, working, laboring, where the good things fall. 